Should you upgrade to the M2 Mac Mini or should you stick with the M1 Mac Mini? Should you even buy the M1 Mac Mini in 2023? Well, in this video, let's talk about that. I have just recently, a couple of months now, it's been two and a half months, nearly three months, I've had the M1 Mac Mini. I'm coming from an Intel-based MacBook Pro 16-inch i7, and I've been really, really impressed with the Mac Mini. This thing is phenomenal, and I just really wish I'd made the switch to Apple Silicon. I really wish I'd taken that jump, that leap, to go to this machine, even though with the basic specs, this is the base model, eight gigabytes of RAM, eight gigabyte GPU. This thing is just the base spec model. And I am not your average user. I am a video editor. I've uploaded now over 700 videos on YouTube of high quality 4K resolution, every single one of those. And the last 30 to 40 videos I've been edited on the Mac Mini M1. And for the most part, I've been absolutely stunned with the performance. I've been really impressed with the ports on this thing as well. We've got Ethernet, which is imperative for uploading to YouTube. We've got two USB-C ports here. We've got HDMI for the one display I'm using, and we've got the two USB-C, and then a headphone jack here, which actually you can plug speakers into as well to get some really fantastic audio. I've got a pretty sick desk setup at the moment. I'm really happy with it. It's taken me a few years to get to that sort of level, but I'm gonna be doing a video on my desk setup in the next few weeks or so, so make sure you do stay tuned for that. Hit the subscribe button, press the bell so you don't miss any future uploads. So like I said, I think this M1 Mac Mini is really still the pound for pound, dollar for dollar, the most capable and well-priced computer, desktop computer, you can buy still in 2023. You've got to be careful with the stats we see on the website, because I was going to go for the M2. I saw that, I was going to buy it, I was really impressed. I wish I'd actually waited a few months and I would have actually bought the M2. It's the same price, very cheap for what it is, and the base model is supposed to be faster than the M1, and it probably will be. It'll be more capable and a little bit quicker. But you've got to be careful with some of the animations you've seen on the presentation and on the website. It says it's 3.5 times faster, but the baseline for that is the Core i7 Mac Mini, which is still an Intel based system. It's only probably one times or half a times faster than the M1, according to the sort of animation I'm showing you on the screen now. So you've got to be careful of your expectations, and that is why I'm not pulling the trigger, and why I'm fully recommending to you that in 2023, you should still be looking at the Mac Mini M1. So not many tech YouTubers talk about how it feels to use one of these machines. We can look at the render times, we can look at the benchmarks, but I'm not interested in that. I'm interested in how it is to use on a day-to-day -day basis. And I can tell you from coming from Intel to the M1 chip, I've been astounded. Everyday tasks like surfing the web, sending emails, shopping, doing your general tasks on your computer, the thing is snappy. The computer starts up straight away and just using the UI and floating around the screen, everything's fast, everything loads, snappy. That is the one word I'd use to describe it. It's phenomenal compared to the i7 it's just game changing it really is now like i said i'm not your usual user i'm video editing 4k footage on a regular basis every single day i'm editing on final cut pro and for the most part the m1 actually copes with that very very well it's only when you get deeper into big edits i've noticed that every now and again it will struggle you'll have the render times it'll start transcoding and it will slow down a little bit you'll get that color wheel just loading every now and again but that is my only gripe apart from that it's still a lot faster than the i7 i was using previously but if you're primarily after an editing machine and time is of the essence then you might want to look at the studio or even the new m2 pro for editing and that will be faster no doubt though i will probably be reaching out for the m2 pro when i do upgrade i'll be using this though still as like a streaming computer as my second computer over here to record these videos because like everyday tasks oh man this thing is so fast using it with all your other apple products as well it's seamless you can of course unlock the computer with your apple watch ultra you can transfer files seamlessly by airdrop so having that apple ecosystem Although some people don't like it and you can get locked into that system, 
I really like it. Everything's simple. I have used Premiere Pro in the past on PC and having to sort of transfer files by Dropbox instead of having that airdrop, it is just inconvenient. So having everything on Apple, I mean, we love Apple, come on. I've got the iPad by the side, the universal control just switches over so you can use the second display with the iPad 12.9 inch iPad Pro. I'm still using the 2018 model, the Pro, because it's just so fast. I don't see the need to have an M1 chip and an iPad. That's just ridiculous. But my point is having all of the Apple products together does work seamlessly, so I love it. I edit on the odd occasion with the AirPods Pro 2 as well. The audio is fantastic. They, of course, switches between devices as well seamlessly, depending on which device you're using the AirPods. Yeah, everything. I really do like everything about the Apple. So. Back to my original point though, do you need to upgrade to the M2 from the M1? I don't think so, not for everyday tasks. If you're a normal user, then no, because the M1 is still more than capable, from my experience over the last three months, of being a general desktop computer and being more than fast enough for most people out there. If you're editing 4K or even 8K footage on a regular basis, then yes, go for the M2 Pro, go for that computer upgrade definitely it will be worth it but I'm so impressed and in 2023 I still think the M1 is an amazing purchase and I picked this up for £650 in the UK brand new you can get these things second hand now and because the M2's come out you'll be able to get them even cheaper second hand on eBay and other sites like that so yeah I mean if you can get one of these for about £400 UK, $400 in the US Man, this you're getting one hell of a computer for that money. It is absolutely phenomenal. Thanks for watching. That's it for this video. More videos, new releases coming soon. Make sure you do subscribe up here. Press a bell somewhere around down there and watch this other video here. You might like this one. Thanks for watching, guys. See you on the next one.